Hello, it's Anna Habana, back with another reaction. This time we are going in with, I think it is pronounced Iona Lee. I know the singer Yona Lee is the girl, <laughs> obviously the girl. It's spelled J O N N A, but I like had to Google the pronunciation of Yona Lee. Their album, Everyone Afraid to Be Forgotten which I don't know if it's meant to be like everyone's afraid. Very interesting how the words kind of get changed a little bit. Obviously, we know this chickadee from I am, am I, who I am, am I, am I, am I, who I am, am I. <laughs> I am, am I, who am I. I always get tongue-tied on it, so I just add in a few more, a million more am I's, and who I am. <laughs> you get the gist. Hinge on Patreon, he has taken me through the journey of I am, who I am, and now we're moving on to her solo work, which I'm super excited for. It's mainly produced by her. It's kind of like more of a, I guess, a bit more personal, whereas the I am who I am's little trilogy thing was done from like a perspective of art and stuff. This project is done from her own perspective, which I'm really keen for. I'm like, you know, expecting some lyrics that we can relate to and things like that while still having, I guess, these memorizing sound that she's just so known for. Hinge also said there's some incomplete songs that were initially written during the early stages of I Am, Am I, uh, and they were in like preludes and now they're on this, so which is really cool. I guess she's kind of taken little bits and just kind of created something brand new. If you're here, obviously you know who she is. I know she's got this quite niche little following which I really love and I love that Hinge is kind of taking me on this journey and you guys get to experience it as well. Obviously, if you want the uncut, it's all on Patreon. Link is down below. Hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of me. And I'm on Instagram with Griffin. Oh, it's Class Electronic, so you know we're going to need some of this. Mm -mm -mm. That straw turning was a perfection. Album title is so intriguing. Everyone afraid to be forgotten. I mean, I guess we all kind of have those fears throughout. I don't know if I do, to be honest. Like, once I'm dead, I don't care what happens to me. <laughs> if you remember me, you remember me. If you don't, you don't. I mean, you'll be able to watch this YouTube video if I die. So, hello if I'm dead. And, yeah, don't forget. Well, I guess I don't care if you forget me. Do what you want. I'm, I'm dead. I don't know. All right, hour and six minutes. So, you know, any album hitting over that hour mark, it's a commitment. So, we hope that it doesn't drag. We hope that we just fall in in love with it, we vibe it, and every song has its own little journey. I'm keen to see where they're gonna take us. Album cover, very little creepy statue thing in forest. Yeah, I'm just keen to get into this. Enough chitty chatty Rooney. The first song is called Watches Watches. Let's go. Watches, 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 there she is. Oh, Ooh, that little like almost lo fi kind of vibe. Ghost was from your hiding voice. I love this, I think. Stand up. Come on to play, we'll do it my way. Oh, beat is so nice. This is the most I've heard of it, right? Her voice. Oh. Whoa, that an explosion. Hey. World watches. Very nice. I think it's my favorite project. <laughs> I know we're one song in, but this is so my mind. I love like the watches watch. <laughs> yes, production, y'all. Us as we go, is that like from dying? Yeah, so there's me. Yeah. What a cool opening bloody song to an album. They wrote that with some other dude. So Yona Lee, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, even though I would automatically go to say like Jonah, but it's Yona, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. What an opening really sets the mood for what we're gonna get. Beautiful lyrics, beautiful voice, like almost a pop electro element. I know it's classified electronic, but you can definitely relate to it. You can vibe out to it. It's not super dance, but just enough to get you going. Definitely like short, sweet, pop driven. Obviously, they'll like it. You know me, I'm a sucker for pop stuff. But yeah, I think I'm going to get sucked into these lyrics and just, I guess, the eternal or eternal. What's the word? I don't know. Something in my head that makes me think more things from what I've heard. 
all those projects from the am I, am I, am I, am I who I am projects did for me, they just make you think so many thoughts, whereas I think this is going to be a lot more direct, but still gives you that vibe. Production stunner though, loved it, like so little mystical, magical, We're in the bloody woods with the fairies, doing stuff, love it. Next song's called Joy, let's go. Yeah, production's going to sell me so hard. I love that already, like... Hot summer day, electric lines buzzing. Yes. Oh, literally movie sounding. Like always, like always with that stuff. Yeah, it's almost like Eurovision sounding, which makes sense, obviously, but. Hey, Oh, is it like commentary on like life, what we do? Quickly, well, wow, okay. Whoa, like what did we just bloody experience? I can't even think of words right now. So that's the sound of joy. Play with me this game of fire. Again, I don't know what the hell the song means. So you're gonna need to let me know <laughs> down below what the hell that's about. Beautiful, like just engulfing you in these flames of fire. Yeah, started off so different to how it ended. Like I said, it almost, I could just picture the street, hot summer, almost like then we fell underground and we were like in this furnace or something. So I guess I kind of got that hot summer vibe from just that starting note. I love that sound though. Oh my God. Yeah, what, what? I'm keen. I'm so keen to keep going. I'm keen to see where this is going to take us. I just, yeah, I'm going to love it. I think this is my favorite stuff by her already. I know we're only two songs in, but just, yeah, this is sick. Next song is called Work. Let's go. Yeah, everything is a movie soundtrack or score or whatever. to do there's work for clever mind get all your sources get every anon like come on friend let's go definitely a battle scene or i know it's called work but i guess you're working together to defeat someone yes yeah, sick again that could be in a bloody i don't know game i've never seen game of thrones but i feel like it could just be in one of their fighting scenes if it had this kind of soundtrack to it oh, 
soul written, producing on her own. She's this, this incredible little chickadee. I mean, honestly, insane, insane, insane. Next song is called Like Hell. I'm keen for a song that has hell in it. Let's go. I'm more excited how they're gonna sound, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, if I just went on my own little storyline, it makes perfect sense with that they picked her up. She's been, you know, obviously a mangled body, she's been at war. Very interesting song. I guess the first song to really just be quite chill and allow you to, I don't know, just relax a little bit. Interesting, very intriguing lyrics then with a harp coming in. Yeah, that was an interesting one. Let me know what it's about. Obviously, I'm keen for the whole album to, I guess, to know what the direction or I guess the source of it. If we go on the Everyone's Afraid to Be Forgotten, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to overthink it now, but I am really enjoying it. The next song's called Not Human. Let's go. Oh. All right, we rested, now we're back up. Almost like, really weird throat noise. This album's so good. She, I mean, always blows me away, but this especially. I saw you there at night. I saw you. Yeah. Obviously, I'm loving it more because I've got my own storyline in my head. But like I said, the music that they just produce gives you that vibe. The lyrics there, I really like the twist because I thought the person or the dude, whoever, wasn't going to be human. But it was her that wasn't human. And I just really like the storyline that I conjured. So I think I was more invested in this little storyline. But again, the music to be able to do that is just so epic. Like the lyrics, the production, the vibe, just, yeah, everything that I built around it. So good. I can't believe it ended like that, though. <laughs> it's like, they're like, all right, we're done. Switch it off. Yeah, I'll... Oh. 
Yeah, I don't know what my favourite is so far. I think Light Kel's probably the weakest for me, just in terms of the first five that we've heard. That one was sick. Yeah, I really like that one. Yeah, what else is there to say? Production, lyrics, voice, storyline, what it conjures, perfect. Number six is here, my favourite number. Is going to give us the best song on the album? Let's find out. It's called Temple. Let's go. Ah, oh, these noises kill me. This is giving me like post bobbing vibes. Yeah, like. to say love it I could literally I was in my head I was like I need to write a TV show that just has these climatic iconic moments and just put her songs to it because it's so good I know I've said this about her other stuff as well it's also very like I just said climatic TV movie vibe but this stuff just with these lyrics and a vibe you're just so invested in each storyline yeah like she's hiding in this little shack the walls are caving in the wall the armies are bloody coming for her sick absolutely so good I can't get over this album we're not even halfway which is sick it means we got so much to come in my boy, this is it. This is the moment. It's my favorite piece so far. So grateful that you've introduced me to this world of Yana, 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 Jana, however. Yeah, it's amazing. The next song is called Samaritan. Let's go. Oh, got like an old day kind of vibe sound. Stop. Yeah, it's like, like a TV, I don't know, intro or something. Chickadee coming to roll. I don't believe I can see religion. Yes. Let's leave religion out of this. Like I said, final girl chickadee coming to slay. <laughs> Soldier with 
was bloody saying no there. Samaritan, I just took that as a chick, like who's gonna be sainted. What at that line, I don't believe in a God, let's leave religion out of this, perfection. The religion should be left out of so many things, but yeah, you just kind of got that vibe that she was this almost anti-Christ chickadee. Samaritan, I guess yeah, Samaritan who's standing up, Hunger Games, Katniss, Buffy the Vampire State kind of vibe. What do you say, I expect to be hanging from a cross. Yeah, so they're gonna like kill her because she's this evil, I don't know, wow, what a song. TV show, movie show vibe, climatical moment, we've said it all before, absolutely one of the best. The next song's called Dunes of Sand featuring Jamie Irrepressible. What on earth is that name? Let's go. I can't handle these introductions anymore of this as far as <laughs> Sounds like my heart. Standing on my two hands. Production of that. It was real. How cute. They sound good together. second there's just some interesting little production going on very very cool song i love their voices intertwining it just worked i don't know what it's about all i could picture were these beaches and stuff like that i think because you have so much trust in the production her lyrics the vocals and just the direction you just go with it and it just is such a out-of-body experience listening to the music it's yeah i mean like i said i don't know what it's about but i just went with it and everything felt like it should be doing what it was doing for me next song is called blazing let's go wake up wake up wake up <laughs> what a change in like sound. What a sound. He's blazing. Is this not going to be as good? It's just so smooth. The transition, the follow through, the carry through. Like I said, that could be on a luxury little car ad where they're just doing all this bloody stuff. Or in like a car chase scene in a movie. Again, everything I'm referring back to movies I know, but it's just creating so many visuals in my head. Wet black 
pitch black tar. It's that vroom, 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 I came in, came. Yeah, that was sick. I love that song. It's absolutely one of my favorites. That ending just brought you in. That yeah, I can't get over that. I came, what I came, what I came here for. Doom, 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 and then that. Wee Oh my god, I can't wait to play that again. Alright, song number 10 is coming in. We have not let up. Every song has its own identity, its own story, its own movie, its own TV show, its own everything. The next song is called Simmer Down. So maybe I should probably simmer down. <laughs> Let's go. Very, very peculiar, very interesting, and very geared, obviously. I love it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised, I don't know why I'm shocked every time, but every song is just so good for its own different reasons. Reasons I cannot explain, they're not humanly known to man why those reasons are the reasons that they are. I am, am I who I am? Well, the next song is called Here Is A Warning. I think we needed one before we went into this album, however, we're getting it now. Let's go. In his place, no intro, straight in. Song, so I'm gonna be interested to see what the next songs kind of feel like in terms of coming up to something just that felt so final. Let's see. The next song's called Gone. Let's go. I guess, yeah, same kind of theme as that. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, it's like the next chapter. Yeah, the lyrics seem pretty 
Sala. Almost like it's done with her and it's just kind of continuing on to someone else. Yeah, okay. What the hell? Super interesting song. Very, yeah, I don't know where the hell we are anymore with this. I don't know if there's been any continuity. <laughs> it was like the war that links back to, oh, I can't even remember the songs now. They are all, I'm like just thrown through at the ring. I think, yeah, now that we're getting real towards the end of the album, so much has been going on. So much lyrics, voices, productions. Yeah, I really liked it though. Just was again, another song to really focus on it all and just take it in. I don't know. Yeah, weird. The next song is called Memento. This one is featuring Barbell and I think this person's co-written some of the songs on the album, so I'm keen to hear how they kind of come together. Let's go. Give me like, yeah, olden day vibes here, like little village. Like another song. This is like a festival indie vibe now. What? What on earth? This is hypnotizing. I'm like, what? I just wanted to jump back into that other sound. <laughs> I've kind of focused less on the lyrics these last few songs and more just I guess on the feeling and just sunk myself into the production. That song, I was almost in this trance of just this and then it like really brought me out of it when it sipped into this other, yeah, festival indie vibe. It sounded like another song like dun, 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 dun. I don't know, I don't know if it is or not, but just very cleverly done. I don't know what the hell the song's about. It's very interesting, the contrast in the two different worlds. Yeah, almost like a projectors here then pulled us back into this trance. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That was insane. I, yeah, I just, I don't know anymore. I feel like this album has gone on so long and obviously it's an hour and whatever but it just feels like we've gone through so many different worlds like, I can't even remember what it was like to be at Watchers Watchers to where we are now I guess just the emotional journey yeah insane the next song is called Harvest featuring TR slash ST trust maybe let's go Boys will not love. Wow, her voice. 
See what I mean? Every time. What the hell? I don't even know anymore. How are all these songs on the same album? Like I said, I definitely think these last few songs have kind of tapered or tapered, tapered, tapered off from the storyline I had in my head. Yeah, I'm so keen to hear what every song's about and I guess the progression and the direction and the track listing and why it all came to be if that information is out there. Absolute study piece of work. Read the last song. It's called Fold. Let's wrap this epic album up like this time still standing album that just makes time stand still is what I was trying to say. Let's go. Thinking of you most of the time. I don't know how I can even comment on the album as a whole. I definitely think Here Is A Warning ended that section. I feel like these four songs kind of had their own little storyline, but then Fold really wrapped it up just with that finite kind of vibe. What an album, like I said, it feels like we've been here forever. It is a long album, but it didn't feel long in terms of, you know, dragging or being boring. It was just so much to take in at once. And I definitely think this is an album you could definitely digest in little portions. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Her voice stunning the best. I think I've heard it just being able to really hear it hear the lyrics absorb it all in relate it to either did I relate it to my life I definitely saw what hinge meant in terms of these are songs about I guess her perception on things interesting album title everyone afraid to be forgotten and I guess is that the overall meaning obviously it is that's the album title lol but yes so many different stories I think within the album that you could interpret however you want and I guess my interpretation is that there was just this constant war I'm like kind of I don't know what else to say because the production insanity so many beautiful different sounds Sounds different, different, <laughs> different images that made in my head. The voice, beautiful. The collabs, the features. Again, they just added. They didn't take away perfect features. That's how you do it. They just add to the song. I love it. What did you guys think? That's all I care right now is what is all the information. Gimme, 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 gimme. Is this one of your favorite projects by them? Because honestly, it is for me. Just yeah, wow. I can't wait to listen to this again and just really absorb it all because one listen is not enough to take it all in. Yeah. Incredible. Hinge, never failing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the recommendation, the request. Thanks for supporting my Patreon. If you want to jump on board, link is down below. As I said, uncut. That's where it's at. Hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of me. I'm on Instagram at Grip Pen. Say good day, say hello, give me a follow. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day, everyone. I'm going to have a great run. And he's going to go.